unmatched. Colbert, of course, from Warrington, Pennsylvania, is the reigning GT champion. Now, here's our Corvette coming back up, just making a pass. Oh, there's hit. Oh, oh tremendous. No. Oh, two cars flipping. Oh, the Jag has flipped over very bad. And now a fire breaks out in one of the cars. I'm not sure who is involved in this. That's the probe. The Ford probe is overturned and burning. That's Lynn. You can see Lynn. She's in the car. She's moving her arms. Obviously, she's okay, but the car is on fire. Here's a Marshall running up behind. Just a terrific accident here. Three cars involved almost at the start-finish line into turn number one. Oh, God. Well, there's there. Chip Robinson. That's a good sign. He's out of the Jag, and he's obviously okay. There's Lynn. She's out as well. Oh. The number 44 Jaguar involved. There is Lynn St. James, who is walking away from her there's an burning machine and Doc Bundy so all three drivers have got out of an absolutely incredible impact this was one of the worst IMSA GT crashes I think I have ever seen and the fire is still burning there at the Lynn St. James car now it's pretty much extinguished but look at the terrific wreckage just nothing left you can see one complete corner of the car is gone the Corvette, I think, is up against the guard. There it is there. You can see the whole back of that car is just destroyed. Well, let's take a look at exactly what happened here. It looks really like Doc has got into an area he just simply shouldn't be, and Chip Robinson is really the, a totally innocent member. There's the probe riding up on the rail and flipping on top of the rail as the Jaguar actually takes off. The wing, which is designed to hold the back of the car down, once the car has done 180, it's lifting the car, and it's just... It's given Chip a terrifying ride. And we have a, another angle. Here's the replay. Look at the Jag starting to take off right here. There's the back off the ground as the probe is going up on the rail. The Jag is totally airborne at this point. Unbelievable. Now watch the Jaguar as it hits the dirt oh. bank and then begins a series of flips and rolls. This is incredible. It, it really, it, it's a testimony to the strength of all three of these cars because at that point, they are running 150 to 160 miles an hour flat out, just newly into fifth gear. And look at the damage to the wall. There's a concrete wall. Oh, the Jag is just destroyed. But look at the, the roll cage is held up. The Corvette, all of the compartments where the drivers sit, they have all held up remarkably well. And there's what's left of the Ford Pro, but again, we will tell you that all three drivers did manage to get out of their cars. Now, several drivers are making pit stops.